Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. You should subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, hear me quickly. The laughter of your enemies have turned to tears, have turned to weeping. Hallelujah. The laughter of your enemies, I repeat that word, have turned to tears, the bitter tears, and he have turned to weeping. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Because everyone see the confidence that you have. When you started having confidence in the Lord, started having confidence in the thing that you believe in. There are so many people who laughed, but they will not be laughing anymore now because they see that the confidence you have in what you are believing in, it is even more than what they can imagine. And all of that, that you have confidence in, it is coming to pass. The Bible makes us to know in the book of Psalm 23 that David was confidence in God as his shepherd, you understand? That is why he said, the Lord is my shepherd, you know? There are so many people who might have looked at him and said, oh, this one, oh, this one is always making him mouth up and down. But he said, the Lord is my shepherd. When God become your shepherd, those that, that were laughing because they think that you don't, you don't know what you are doing. When everything starts falling in place through the confidence that you have in God, they will be the one to cry. Somebody hear me very well. Quickly, the laughter of your enemies <laughs> over what you believe on, it has turned to bitter tears. Hallelujah. It has turned to weeping because the Bible says he will do. He will do what he says he will do. God is not a man. And the Bible says he suffer no one just to do them wrong. Glory to Jesus. Glory up, Father. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, it says, Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Hallelujah. You cannot lift up your soul unto the Lord and end up in disgrace. That is an error. <laughs> you cannot lift up your soul in worshiping God and end up in pain. That is an error. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Because you trust in the Lord, he will not allow you to be put to shame. That is what the Bible says. In the book of Psalm 25, it says, Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. You cannot lift up your soul unto the Lord and be put to shame. Hallelujah. There are so many people where they laughed before they thought they were going, you were going to end the shame. The Bible says, Let not my enemies triumph over me. Ha! Child of God, can you hear what the, the word of God is saying to us? Let not my enemy triumph over me. So the enemy cannot triumph over you. This is why the laughter they had when they started attacking you, they thought it was going to be so swift. They would just come and wipe us out. They would just come, they would kill us. They would just come, they would do this. They would just come, they would bring us down. They came. Yes, they came. When they were coming, they were confident. But now they see that all the laughter, have turned to bitter tears, have turned to weeping. Do you know why? Because God will not allow our enemies to triumph over us. Hallelujah. Because they that wait upon the Lord, they shall not be ashamed. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let them be ashamed which transgress with hard cause. The book of Psalm 25 is there. So how can you lift up your soul unto the Lord and the enemy will triumph over you? Yes, now they see the confidence that you have in the Lord have increased more and more. That which they thought they were going to do in one week and just kill us. They see that we are still here. They see that we are still here. Hallelujah. They see that we are still pushing. We are still striving. We are still surviving it. We don't know how, but we know because we lift up our soul unto the Lord, we know that the enemy cannot triumph. Because we worship God, we know the enemy cannot triumph. Because we know that the God that we serve does not share his glory with anyone. That is what we know and that is what we are holding on to. Child of God, I need you to know that quickly, those that thought that they were just going to end us like this, now they are crying bitterly. 
I pray that your enemy will not triumph over you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.